Hello, people. Welcome to 44 Special. Um, What's up? CNJ44 Podcast. Um, that's what we're calling it. Yep. Uh, I think, I think Johanna, you would agree that uh, we like the name. We do like the name. Right? Yeah. I apologize, people. Uh, I need a little adjustment. Uh, but need um, I like the name. Yeah. And it's funny because... Um, we couldn't remember the name. We couldn't remember the... Well, we hadn't decided on it yet. Mm. I think that's what it was. Well, we didn't decide on it yet. We but... hadn't decided on it yet, but we've decided now yeah. that it's going to be called the 44 Special. The 44 Special. Or 44 right. Special. No, right. the. Right. Just 44 Special. Because right. uh, we're 44s. and um, We're special. Some... Yeah, and we are special. And <laughs> we, hope that, we hope that you uh -huh. think we're special enough to watch... Or listen to. Well, I'm listen sure. to, Rob. Well, anybody, who, anybody who's listening or watching. Uh, yeah, we appreciate it. You're special in your own way. Yeah. Uh, so that being said, we want to go into talking about October, Halloween. Yep. Uh, and beyond. Yeah. We right? have so much to talk about. Um, we we have so much to talk about today. We had a great day. We had a wonderful day. We went to a charity event. Uh, called Glint. Yep. Uh, we're not going to talk too long about this, but we wanted. To, we might. We had such a good time. We might time. talk too much. We about had it. such a good time. Yeah. That we felt we needed to, to, to tell people. Yeah. Right. Right. Um, um, my friend Kyle. Well, hang, hang on. Let, let, let me tell the people what the charity event was about. Okay. Uh, before, yep. And That's then cool. we can talk about it after that. Of course. Um, of course. <clears throat> the charity event was called Glint. Um, it's, it's a, it's, it's the first, uh, event that they've had. Um, it comes from, uh, a man that I know, and I've known for over 20 years, uh, Matt Glynn, uh, the owner of Glynn Electric. Yeah. His son passed away in a tragic car accident. Yep. A little over a year ago. Josh Glynn. Josh. Joshua. Oh, and what he, a great kid! He was such a he was a kid. he was a really uh, awesome guy. He really was awesome guy. Uh, just wanted to help people, um, and he loved music. He was very talented, super talented. Yep, um, which is why they did a music festival in his memoriam. Yep, to, in his honor. And the money that it was that it's going to is to help create um, places for young people to learn. And grow, yeah, uh, musically, culturally. So wonderful. It was really good. It was really. It's a. It's a good charity. Yeah, is what it I'm was. Saying. A, it, it was a it, super. It's, it's near, super fun it's near, time. It's for near us. to my heart because I knew. The, I knew the man. Yep. Me too. And um, uh, it is. It, it. I just. I. I feel like something's missing in the world without Joshua <sighs> here. I tell you, he was. I honestly do. Um, I just want to say that I want to get that out of the way. Right. Um, right. He um, was he was a super talented. It's the point kid. of what, why I'm talking about it is yeah yeah. But we I had mean, a great time with that. It festival. was so fun. Um, we and we got to see a band that I've been wanting to see. That's exactly what I was play. about to say, Johanna. We we we, we it's a local band. They're called Quadrafunk. Yep. And uh, one of one of the bass player in the band. The uh, bass we, player of the band, yes. The, one of the, like, no, he's the only one. He's the only one. <laughs> um, no. And he, he kills it. Oh, the man. kid he, fucking rocks. Well, he, I was so impressed. Yeah. Um, Kyle Ahola. Shout out to you, yeah, man. Mr. Ahola. Uh, Mark King. Well done. You guys fucking killed yeah, it today. They did, they did a really good job. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, well, what I was trying to get out is, is we know Kyle, the bass player. Yes. Uh, because you worked with him at a pizza shop, a previous pizza shop that you worked at. Yep. And, and I also and worked knew with him his for mom years, at the hair I salon. I met him through that. Right, uh, through me. Yes. Right. Through, through, through the right. years of me working yeah, exactly. and stuff. Thank you. With the kid. Oh, man, he's a great kid. And wow, I was so proud Even today. Even when, when I, like, Honestly. he's, he's obviously much older now. Than when I first met him, yep. And even as a young kid in high school, um, he impressed me. He just, it just seemed like a really uh, good person, cool person, 
cool person. He's a no. good person. Hey, Kyle, sh- yeah. if you're watching this, <laughs> yeah. you're a great guy. I love you. We love you. <laughs> You, yeah. you guys, uh, you killed, guys it killed it today. I know. Yeah. Well, you know what? It was funny because we sat through their whole set. Um, Not we, sat through. We we were we were happy to be there. Although oh, we were sitting it, on hay no, bales. No, I didn't mean it to come off like I had to sit there through right, the whole thing. Right. No, what I'm saying is right. we sat we saw the whole through set. the whole set. Right. And the whole time I was just like, even Johanna, you can attest to this. Yep. Um, af- like after the first uh, two songs, maybe, um, they had a little bit of technical difficulty with their sound, or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Um, hey, if you're watching, <laughs> listening. If you're listening, Kyle, uh, let me know in the comments what that technical issue was, because uh, sometimes I'm curious about this stuff. Right. I am an electrician, and, and uh, now we do you, podcasting, right, and, and now that you do YouTube, stuff with microphones wanna, and stuff, you want to know. I want to know and learn. Because yes. we have trouble all the time. Yeah, all the time. And we try to fix it, and uh, yeah. sometimes, uh, it, uh, uh, fuck. Uh, we, need to, uh, we need all the knowledge we can get. Exactly. But you know what? It didn't matter. Your, no, it your did little, not. It, that, um, that did not matter. Little snafu. But, but what that I was, wasn't a big deal. I digressed. What I wanted to say was, uh, I wanted to go up and say hi to him personally while he was on stage. And right. I said that to you. You said it to me, yes. And and you you told me, that's that's rude. That's I was, not right. He's you in the middle of that. a set. He's in the middle of a right. set. Right. I know they're having technical difficulties, but now as a performer you're stressed because you're up on stage and your shit's not sounding right. Now yeah. is not the time to go up and be like, hey, what's And you up? know what? I, I was too excited when I was watching the, him and the band because all three of the performers on stage were awesome. It, they, it was... I couldn't, they, they I were couldn't awesome. not... They were so I could not good. stop bopping my head. Bopping my head? You know what I mean. Yeah, it was... It was you know what I mean. They, they sounded great yeah 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 they really really it, sound it great and they're gonna so fucking fun. go places i hope so i hope so too we need I to support so. them more quadrifunk quadrifunk if you uh we're, we'll promote you yeah you know what if you're ever in an area and you see a band's playing and they're called quadrifunk go watch them they're special. It. They've they've got yeah. like such a good chemistry. If you, if you hear they're playing in your local area yeah. and you want to go out and to a bar or wherever they're playing at and have a good time, yeah. you're gonna like the music. It's I super really cool. really liked it. It's super cool. They have a different sound. They have a it's they very, have a lot of original. It's very funky. They're, they're, they don't play they're, like just cover songs. Like they have their own shit. And well, one of their yeah. songs, well, I mean, they cry. will they will do they like, they do do cover songs, but. Tears. It was. It was really. Yeah, I know the song you're talking about. Heaven's fallen. Heaven. Oh my goodness, we uh, got dead uh, air. <laughs> I can't think of the line, and I'm probably better off because uh, I'd yeah, we, such a cry. We, yeah, let's not. But let's not, um, cry. let's not cry. We're celebrating. We we're are celebrating. celebrating. Uh, the the whole event was to celebrate Josh. Glenn's Josh Glenn's life, life. and uh, how much he wanted to help people. <sighs> he was such but a great we also kid. enjoyed um, Quadrafunk. Yeah, and uh, the other bands. Like old there. Old Fox old, was there. Old Fox was really good. They were they were great. They were really good. Yeah, there was a lot of bands there. Um, we didn't stay for we the didn't stay bands. for the last. We didn't stay for the last band. Um, but, um, we had such a great time. We had a, we met people. Yep. Um, we we, <laughs> we met people because I wore this. Uh, drug yeah. rug right which you got called out for i did because by the band by the, by the band on right stage. um yeah i yelled they were like done and i was yeah, like yeah they, they'd finished their set and i was like i love you yeah you did and um which was fun yeah right I, right that was great it it was and mark uh mark king the lead singer the lead singer of quadrifunk um yeah, yeah. He was like, he's like, thank he's like, you, I love drug you. rug. Or... He's like, I love you too. Thanks, drug rug. Right. It was <laughs> it was something funny. And Corey hates Johanna's... the shirt. The, he hates this jacket. I don't hate it. 
Well, you're not Come a big on. fan. You're not a big fan of it. But I got it in Las Vegas. I would not wear it. No, it's not your style. But I don't hate and it. And I don't wear it on the, on I the don't, regular. Don't, no, I don't okay, hate it. Okay, but it's made with, like, I got, like, the alpaca line. It is. It is. It's got, really nice. We bought it in, uh, she's right, it is made from alpaca fur. Uh, hair? Hair. Oh. It's made from alpaca yeah. uh, fur. Yeah. Oh, Let's yeah. just stick with that. <laughs> I think it's hair. I'm pretty sure it's hair. hair? I don't think it's fur, but it doesn't it's matter. It's not fur. It's, I don't know. What, what, Whatever. Sheep. Sheep. It's like shaving a sheep. Oh, that, but it's super soft and cozy and warm. And yeah, well, like, was, I guess, I'm, I, I guess what I'm trying to say is, uh, we got it from, we bought your drug rug <laughs> in Las Vegas from a store. Yep. Um, that, you bought slippers there. Um. Uh, more than once. Yeah, I was going to say, I think, yeah. I think that's how um, I knew that they were there. Because I didn't this, buy it the first time we went to that like, store. It's called like the alpaca store. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. And because is it Miracle Mile? I, I believe at Planet it, Hollywood. It is at the Miracle Mile in Planet Hollywood. Good they have Joanna. great stores good there. Memory. Hattitude's in there, too. Hattitude is where I get all my good hats right. from. And you had a great experience buying a custom hat from there. From Hattitude? Yeah. Yes, but I didn't. I didn't buy my custom hat there. Well, I no, got, you ordered it online from Hattitude. I did, but I had been to Hattitude so many times. Yeah. I was like, I. I don't know. I guess I was looking up the store. I think. I think you and, got a card one time. And, I don't yeah, remember. I, just, I don't I remember. I don't remember what their website. I think that's what it was. I was like, perusing their Joanna website. They make custom fedoras. You, you beat me to it. I'm sorry. That's what I was yes, I'm sorry. Say. But that's no. That's okay because right. that's right. Um, I was. I, I believe I was just perusing their site and I was like, oh my god, Johanna, they do custom hats. Right. So I uh, I went through the process to have them make me a custom fedora. Uh, yeah, which I love, and I, I I don't treat all my hats as well as they should be treated, but that particular one, <laughs> I make sure I know where it is at all times. They're all hanging yeah. on the wall. <laughs> That's a little. <model. laughs> I have a hat collection. He, yes, he, he has. He has quite yes. the hat collection. I'm embarrassed by it, honestly. Well, you and I be. shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. You look great in a hat. Even though you have, like, a great head of hair. Well, pe like, some people talk shit about wearing fedoras and fancy hats and stuff. And, uh, no, you pull it you off. I think you look great in a hat. Whatever. I, uh, you look great I, in a hat. Whatever. You and can hate on me if I'm wearing a hat. I you don't complained care. complained because it was... Not you, but anybody in general. Oh, whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah, you can shit on me because I wore a drug rug and cowgirl <laughs> boots today. And but I you got complimented care. on both, really. I did. I got complimented on my boots. And I got complimented... Well, I didn't really... Complimented, but I got called out for my drug rug, and I didn't care. I was warm and cozy, and uh, yeah. my footwear was comfortable. Which I was is walking important. on like clamshells and well, crushed, crushed clamshells. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They use that for uh, like driveways and on Cape Cod and right. tuck it and stuff. Well, it's I not about, I was thinking about wearing my high heels. It's like boots. walking on gravel. Like my fancy boots, and I'm like... Mm, it's like walking on gravel, know. except it has a pretty, prettier color. Yeah, really. it was, I it mean, was nice. <laughs> it's fine. It was, it was nice. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just, I just was saying I wore comfortable footwear. Right. For well, you had brought clamshells. I felt I needed to say something. I probably didn't. Sorry. Oh. Whatever. Sorry, people. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you ordered a Halloween costume. This is what I was. Oh, you're trying, trying to trying segue to into Halloween. We were supposed to be talking about October well, and Halloween. Well, you got but, uh, you got a great custom hat online, but then you ordered a Halloween costume online. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, not not as not as good of an experience. Mm, no. Um, well, we don't know yet. Well, maybe we, they'll do the right we, thing. We might, it. we might do a follow up if we. Uh, I mean, I guess we're gonna talk about it. Um. Uh, but the what? 
We're going to Las Vegas. We're for going Halloween to Las Vegas. You wanted Thank these you, awesome Thank costumes. Thank you, Johanna. I need. I needed a. I, needed I am a, making. I made my own Medusa costume. My own headpiece. Right. You had decided you were going to be Medusa. Right. Uh, for Halloween. Right. While we are in Las Vegas. Yes. This year we're going to Las Vegas for, for Halloween. Right. Uh, we both wanted costumes. You decided you wanted to be Medusa. Yes. You were going to make your own headpiece. Right. I, however, wanted to be a specific character that I don't have the skills to make that costume for. No. So I went online and I was searching, searching around, and I found a website. I don't want to. I don't want to shout out the name yet. We're not going to shit on not, them yet. Not yet. We're we have to see what happens. If, can, if, if they're going to, if they're going to make shit right. Yeah. But if if they, we need to find out if they're going to come correct. Um, but I, but I went on their website and they had this uh, really cool looking costume. Uh, I've had this say, costume before. A, I, I had previously owned. A similar costume. Um, it's from a you video game, it. Assassin's Creed. Um, the character's name is Connor, and uh, it the game was set during the American Revolution. Yep. Um, and I really thought it was such a cool costume. Like when I like found it originally. Yeah. And I bought it, and it was, like, very expensive then. This was years ago. I originally bought the costume years ago. And I brought it to Las Vegas. And right. I wore we it. We wore it. On downtown right. Fremont Street. Right, for Silver's 21st birthday when we went to Fremont Street. Right. We wore it. But you wore it. When we, tra- <laughs> we didn't we, both When we it. traveled back home from Las Vegas, it got lost somehow. And we're not sure where it went. Uh, We have no idea. We thought it came back with us. We looked for it for a very long time after we got back. Never never found it. Right. Both our costumes, even the one you wore that year. Uh, Right. So I decided this year I wanted that costume again. So I went searching around. Found it. Looked through the website. The pictures of the costume looked amazing. Is exactly what I was looking for. They did look amazing. Um, they did look amazing. They charged. They wanted three hundred and thirty-eight dollars for this costume. It's a Halloween costume, people. I know that's that's a huge amount of money. It sounds stupid, right? Right. That's a stupid right. amount of money for a Halloween costume, but it really looked amazing in the pictures. Right. Well, when I got it, it looked like it. <laughs> uh, it was so bad. It was so bad. It was so bad. It was so nothing bad. like it. Um, so I've taken pictures of it uh, with me yep. wearing it. Yep. Corey was so documented, mad. Documented everything. And I was like, well, maybe if you try it on, it won't look so bad. <laughs> it looked even worse once it was on. Like, it was so bad. Thank you it for was... saying that because I told not you, that you Not that you looked bad in it, but it was just so... It was just so misrepresented. Exactly. Um, and that, I don't know, maybe... And they, that's what I was trying to tell you when right. I had opened it. I hadn't even tried it on. Right. And you're like, well, maybe if you put it on. And I'm like, Johnny, no. It's right. It's, it, was, mm. it was so, so Excuse me. far from what they showed that I bought. Right, right. So we're going to send it back. We gotta, well, we we gotta type I have a not little contact, email. I've not, con- I've not contacted them yet. I'm I have taken pictures. Yep. Um, according to their return policy. Yep. You have to take pictures. You have to. It's a right. whole rigmarole. It's like really. What right. You fuck? can't call them directly. I don't think uh, they you speak. have to. You have to do an email and say, "Well, they're from. It's a company out of China." Yeah. Just, um, I'm not saying it's a cosplay. That. It's a, a cosplay thing. company, but they call themselves a professional cosplay distributor, maker, whatever. whatever. I don't know. Right, right, right. right. But they call themselves professionals, and from what they showed on the maybe they just website, sent you the wrong costume. Well, that's what I'm thinking, and that's why I'm we're saying we're trying to. That's we're what I'm saying. Give I'm, them that's why the I'm saying. Yes, we need to give them a, 
I'm, I'm trying to say we need to give them a benefit of the doubt because we have not contacted them yet. But we have taken the pictures and we're going to email them and, and see what their response is. Yeah. I hope, I hope we'll for the keep best. You, we'll keep you posted. I hope for the best. Yeah. It was an expensive costume and to have it to come out and look so shitty and cheesy. It was, it was a I was extremely disappointed. disappointed. I know. I, I came home from work and I saw the ticket um, in the mail. And I went, I was so excited, I went to the post office to get it. Oh, you went and picked it up for me without me even asking you. I thought that was Well, awesome. I came home and I, I thought saw that was it. great. I was so excited. And I too. knew you were like, my, my costume, my, or, I'm saying my costume. You were like, you're, I, I'm pretty sure your costume's here. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, they, they delivered it right to the house because oftentimes FedEx hands it off to the post office. Right. And they won't. Deliver it to you if it doesn't fit in, in the, the mailbox. In the mailbox, right? So you have to go to the post office to pick it up. Yep. And um, you went and did it without me even asking you. So thank you. For oh, that. of course. I Very got home that. and I saw it, and, and I was uh, like, "Oh shit! It's Corey's costume." He's gonna and be then, so excited. And then and it was, was shit. And, and then it was shit, and I felt so Johanna, bad. Johanna was like, "Oh, it's in the house. I'm gonna go outside." Yeah, and I was like, "That's cool. Uh, I'll meet yeah. you out there. I gotta go change my shoes, whatever. I just right. got home from work." Right. Um, and and when you told me, I was like, I was beaming with excitement. Right. Like, it's here. It's finally Yay. here. It took over a month to get here. It didn't take over a month. I can. Do we discovered this last night. All right. Bullshit. So three weeks. Because you lost a bet last night. Whatever. All right. Three weeks. I'm sorry. Whatever. I misspoke. Mm -hmm. I lied. You didn't lie. You just don't remember properly. I just don't remember okay. properly. <laughs> it's okay. But either way, yeah, it took a while to get here. And you were so it excited. And then it was like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. This is such a fucking piece of shit. Like, wow. Well, that's not what it was, I, That's... No, well, that's not what you said, but that's no. what I was thinking. I was like, what the fuck real because i had seen the one that you got before mm -hmm. and it was supposed to be very similar right the one that i lost i was trying to right. replace the exact version of the costume that i had lost right that's why i was right to spend so much right. money on and it that year i, I was a, so much. i was a pirate i loved it that much and right. that was a cute costume it was actually it was a great costume right you lost that costume i too. lost that costume too right yeah um, so was the costume that I loved, I, I, it looked so good, and it fit me so well, right. I was trying to right. replace and it. And you were, you were willing to spend a little extra money. A You're lot like, of extra okay, money. I'll, well, the first one you bought wasn't cheap. No, it was not. So. But that's the point, like, you get what you pay for, right? You gotta I'm not be, looking yeah, for something from you Spirit gotta Halloween, be. but this thing showed up like it came from yeah oh she'd say job lot man <laughs> right oh, right remember building 19 oh, yeah that was a building 19 special yes oh, it was very disappointing um it was disappointing and you know maybe we'll talk maybe we'll talk about the finality of it once we actually go once through the process it, right. with these people because uh, we have not contacted them yet but we will be we will them soon uh we have well, to we because we will. only have a week before them before they'll give you the finger i know and, and it's already been <laughs> like, like no, it's no. already been like three days yeah it's 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 getting so late. yeah we gotta take care of biz maybe we should cut our shit short so we can take care of our biz huh yeah well, well not yet um, we have more things to talk about we always have more to talk yeah. about we never stop talking That's right. You just silence. stopped talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. a joke. Joanna. Sorry. I know. That's sorry, why I laughed. Sorry, sorry. Uh, that's why I laughed. <laughs> that's why oh, I laughed too. You guys have probably already shut us off by now. <laughs> like, whatever. Um, so, <laughs> so fall's here. And, fall is here. And the I tell the you leaves what, are falling. The leaves Hence are falling. Fall. Um, the nights are getting. Chilly. They're getting chilly, and They're getting chilly. Uh, the days are so short now. Yep. It starts to get depressing. Yeah. I know what you're saying. Well, I was. I, was I don't gonna, want to get depressing, I, but no, it, it, I, it can bring you down a little bit. Like that it, wasn't it, what, that wasn't where I was going with this. Oh, by all means. 
so we had the fireplace on last night. Last night was Friday. I worked till 11 o'clock last night. I worked from 10 in the morning till 11 o'clock at night. And I hit home and we're outside in the screen house having a couple of drinks. Corey's like, I gotta go in. And I was like, all right. I was like, I'll take care of business. I'll shut the, the fireplace off and shut the TV off and whatever. So I encountered a raccoon. Hmm. Uh, his name's Rocket. Any guardians of the galaxy fans out there. <laughs> Um, but he scared the fuck out of me. And honestly... Well, he startled you. He startled me, and I bet I startled him. I have no doubt. Because I'm in the screen house. He's a wild animal. Yeah, I and I, I, have a little, I have a little cartons. And I was, I was emptying a soda can to put in the recycling bin... And I opened the curtain, and I was, and I saw him, and he saw me, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And then I shut the curtain real quick, like the little curtains were really gonna save me. <laughs> um, and then I was like, "No, what are you doing?" And I reopened the curtain; he was gone. And I was like, "Oh, what the fuck!" And I'm out there, and I'm talking to myself. It's like I don't know, one, one like, thirty in the morning. What are you talking to yourself for? Because I was, I was scared, and I was thinking, like, <laughs> like if the raccoon hears me talking, maybe he's gonna be like, mm. I don't know. But <laughs> I was, it was weird. It was weird, and I was scared, and I was like oh, all by myself. I, I can, I, I, mean, I get it. Right. I get it. Right. And I had to, like, talk myself down off the ledge. I'm like, yeah. if he was a rabid raccoon, he would have attacked you. Like, you probably scared the shit out of him. But I was fucking scared, man. <laughs> I, like, I screeched. Like, after he was gone, like, well, I wanted to make sure dark. that it's, I wanted to clear the, it's the dark, area. It's dark outside. Right. I mean, well, I had my... into a, an animal. Yeah, I get it. It's It's scary. He's not a little raccoon. That's raccoon. No, he's old. full grown. He's, he's no, old. He's not a baby raccoon. No. I've seen him before. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To let the, the people listening know, I I encountered him. I think first. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he lives in our area. We live in the woods. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. So it's right. it's we we have a lot of woods off to the side of our house. There's no neighbors on one side of our house yeah uh, there is a neighborhood down the other way but past us is all woods it's all woods so there are a lot of wild animals around uh <laughs> speaking of which um uh, you you didn't talk about gollum uh, uh yes it's a it's gollum. A, a gollum is uh he's a chipmunk chipmunk uh we named him that because um, <laughs> he likes to eat them. He likes to raw. eat things raw and wriggling. And that wriggling. is a Lord of the Rings reference. Uh, if, if you yeah. don't know, go and find out about it. Yeah. Uh, but if you do, you, he you eats understand frogs, what we're saying. Though, and um, that's what we found out. Right. Um, you were out in the greenhouse, as you had talked about uh, earlier. Was, Where was on the and it is a different day. Right. And it was daylight. It wasn't dark yeah. at this time. Right. But you had seen Gollum. We've, we we named him Gollum. <laughs> His parents. We don't didn't own him. him he's, he's a wild chipmunk uh, that lives in our woods. Right next right. to our screen house. Right. Actually. But he likes to. He likes, he to... likes to come in and visit sometimes. Right. He'll right. look at us and then move on. Right. Uh, but. Well, when he was, well, I think when he was, was first like born, like the he scared of the, the season, fuck out of me because well, I didn't scared, know what it was. I'm, well, I'm sure you scared him. Well, I'm sure. I, know, I did. But he didn't look like a chipmunk. He, he was like. Well, he's a baby. Listen, I don't like had, I don't like furry animals, well, and I was scared. I you're, and I'm you're like, scared oh, of, you're scared of mice. You're scared, you're scared of mice. Explain um, to the people that you don't like mice. I don't like mice. I don't like any furry things, and if it's. If it's a little thing scurrying on the floor, I usually get like all freaked out. But I you, encountered this little I can, creature I, a few times. I can understand um, your fear because you've run into 
furry creatures in the past that have <laughs> been mutilated uh, by my cat Sylvester. Oh, some have been mutilated by our our cat Sylvester. Also, some Emma. Some have sprayed you with a very stinky smell. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> so skunk. I, I right. feel like that's. But now this is like a new thing. I've never, I've never, I've from. never been like mm, with a raccoon. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> That came out weird. That was, that was just weird. Did you just say that? <laughs> my, well, that was weird. My I didn't mean like that. has never been with a, a raccoon. No. Oh, and I never will. I never will. That was weird. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Oh, fuck. Um... And we were even talking about the red cube. We were talking about golden shit. Trying to shit keep the conversation going again. Oh, shit. Second. Anyway, uh, shit. we got to move on. It was, yeah. it, whatever. You misspoke. It's fine. Listen, we have this little, we have this little creature, Gollum the chipmunk. Yeah, the chipmunk. He's eating frogs. We didn't know that fucking chipmunks. I had eat no frogs. idea. You, I had, no, I also had no idea that no idea. chipmunks are omnivores. They will kill and eat live. Bugs and yeah. small frogs. Yeah, I just thought they eat. I like, did not. I did not. I thought that. Yeah, I, I thought they just shoved acorns, acorns in their cheeks or... and looked really cute. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. This thing. Johanna walks out of the greenhouse to take a picture of Gollum because, you know, he's just been a local. Yeah. A local uh, he's a little, wild buddy he's a little, of ours. He's, a he's harmless. Friend of ours. Yeah. Right. I mean, right. we don't go and pet him or anything. Oh God, we leave no. Him alone. no, no, no. But, but he lives in our. Yard, right. so we don't care. Right. Um, right. So you went out to, he lives to see what he was garden. doing. He went out to see what he was doing, and you photographed him. Uh, I videotaped Like, it. killing a frog. I didn't know it was a frog at the time until I watched it, it back. Yeah, it wasn't until you watched it back, and then you showed me the video. Right. And I was like, what? Oh, my God. Why is he killing a frog? That right. prompted us to Google search. I know we were afraid. We we're like, "Oh my God, is the does he have rabies? Like, is like, what's wrong with this with this animal? Right. right? Is it like is that normal behavior? Yeah. We're like, we we were wondering, is it normal behavior for a chipmunk to be exactly? Do we need turns to be out, afraid of the chipmunk? Turns out, yeah, natural. Ch chipmunks will. That's what they do. They'll eat the shit out of a frog. And I tell you what, fuck. he did. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he did. She he did. Was, I don't know. And look, we don't, yeah, we don't we know it's male or female. She may have. She may have babies. Well, yeah, maybe I, she was probably trying yeah. to feed him. Who knows? Right. But yeah, um, we have two water gardens, and but a, that um, chipmunk was going. To, that chipmunk was going. To so that's why Gollum, I think, frog. made his nest there because it was like the perfect place for him. There was plenty of food, right. plenty of water, plenty of food, Makes plenty sense. of water, yeah. and I and I feel like. He might feel like it's safe because we're there. We're not bothering him, but he, think, there's not a lot of I think predators it came around. To, I think it came to that because at first we were, we were scared of him roaming around our mm. area. And right. He ran into us and was like, "Oh my uh, god, these big humans are in a, in my space." Right. But uh, we both just decided it was okay. Right. Well, me and you. In the chipmunk, the uh, right. chipmunk decided it was okay that we were there. I is think what I'm saying. I'm I think saying, yeah. He's like, all right, that's eh, your spot. Right, that's your spot. I'll stay out of it. Right. I'll walk around. I'll, I'll walk. No, he doesn't. He didn't walk around. He'd go right through. Yeah, and he, he was did. a little baby chipmunk. Yeah, I didn't he, know what it was, and I got freaked well, out. Well, eventually he just he knew. Like, yeah. I'll go around, and and he'll like pop his little head in. Yeah, he's like, we know. And look I at know us. You're there. What's up, man? Right, and then he'll just... See, have you seen any frogs bite. lately? Because I want to bite it's his head off. fast little motherfucker. Oh, my God. He, chipmunks are quick, man. He's fast. You'd be hard-pressed to catch one with your hands. It would take some practice. Oh, I wouldn't even try. That'd be no, weird. I wouldn't try either. I'm just saying. I. It's obvious that it would take practice to try and catch one of those uh, little mofos. Yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Little mofos. <laughs> <laughs> You yeah. said it. ASMR. Who doesn't like a mofo? Ooh. You know what I was... I was mixing the cheese the other day, and I was thinking... You were mixing the cheese the other day? <laughs> well, yeah, because... That is, a, that is something that could be 
uh, we have we have t- we have two different. I think um, you just become a living a living meme. <laughs> <laughs> we have two different pizza <laughs> cheese buns. I was melting the cheese. I was mixing it. Cause, well, you gotta blend it. Like, you open one bag of one kind right. of cheese, one bag of the other. You, you gotta, gotta blend you it. You gotta blend the cheese. And I'm like, oh, this is so relaxing. Who doesn't blend their cheese? Mm, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, that's Maybe what, people yeah, that uh, cut their own cheese. <laughs> <laughs> There's no blending required. Ouch. Then. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, nice, sorry. nice snort. <laughs> I can't help myself. I just hit myself in the uh, and I just hit myself in the nose with my own cup. Cheers. I love you. Uh, anyway, um, I don't even know how to end this. So we even want to talk about anything else? We were supposed to talk about like pumpkins and shit. <laughs> we went off the rails. We did. Go off. Oh, what we were gonna talk about is the goddamn cooking shows, and how their their critique. These yeah, people had the got, most awesome yeah. display. And their critique was, your pumpkin's teeth are too white. Yeah, somebody, it, this is a pumpkin, pumpkin, that's not even a word. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, it was pumpkin a, it was carving. A pumpin, pumpin. <laughs> <laughs> it was a pumping. Is this my god? A pumping, is pumpkin this my god? challenge. <laughs> it was on the Pump, Food Network. It's a pump. <laughs> and that's, that's the worst thing that the lady could say, was... The pumpkin's teeth were too right. White. All the other judges were saying like how awesome it was, right? And she's like, "Oh, yeah, yeah. the, the, the teeth, teeth are on your too pumpkin. white. You painted them too white." Like what? Huh? I would have liked to see them scarier. Like, wow, okay, you're a douche. Yeah, I think the food critics on yeah. television, they just have to come up with something to right. make it more interesting. I right. guess. We, but it just sometimes they come out so ridiculous because you're like. That that looks awesome. It's awesome. Right. It looks awesome. Yeah. Or well, you the, have to find like, something bad like, to say about it? It had just a little... You can't just compliment somebody much, on good work. Too much black pepper. Like... Right. Oh, it could have used a little more salt. Like, really? Well, what the fuck? That's what the shaker is for. Oh. Well said, Johanna. I'm glad I'm that you saying. said that, right? I'm like because a lot of times they're like, oh, it's under seasoned. And often they're talking about just straight up salt, pepper. salt and pepper. Yeah. Right? Which is why they put salt and pepper on the table so you can season it to your liking. Right. So how do you critique somebody on being like, Okay, I put the amount of seasoning I thought should be on it. But right. You're gonna call it under seasoned? Yeah. I mean Okay, over season, whatever. It's it's what you like. I just find it right. so arbitrary. That's why we stopped it's, watching. Yeah, like we used. I used. It's, I used to be really into the cooking shows. And I used to cook all these fancy things. The, the judging of somebody's cooking is very arbitrary, and that's what that's what bothers me about it. Right when they get so whole, like the judges get so holier than thou. About right. What they. Are right. talking about like it's, it's a it's, mystery basket. What do you expect me to do with mm-hmm. anchovies, eggplant, chocolate syrup, and fucking yeah, Cheerios? Right. It's a ridiculous thing, right? Right? It's so yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, it is. I guess it's supposed to be a challenge to make something taste good, but then you're just gonna crap all over what <laughs> they made, right? Right. Does it taste good or does it not? But no, they have to get so intricate. Oh, oh. Uh, this pr- but it's also- this prune this prune wasn't crisp crispy enough for me. You right. should have put it in a fryer right. later. Right. Like what? Right. What are you but, talking about? But your opinion of too much salt and my opinion of too much salt are that's two different really, things. Really, that's really what I'm saying. So, like it's it's just eh, it's, it's all just, it's all, it's all somebody's. Bullshit. It's all bullshit. It's all, and you know what? This podcast what like. is all bullshit. This podcast is bullshit. But we we're getting, we're we love you guys for listening. Yes, thank you. We love you for listening. We're gonna shut up now. That's <laughs> you know that's about it. That's an, that's about it for yeah. tonight. But I tell crazy. you what, um, we this, is, this, this is this is the forty four special, the forty four special. This is the forty. This is forty four special, C and J forty four podcast. Yes, and thank you for listening. Subscribe, tell your friends. What well, the fuck? Have a drink with us yeah, while you're listening. Share next time. it with other people. Right. We love you guys. Drink lots. Don't drive. 
Peace out.